Welcome back. The presidential field narrowing with Florida Senator Marco Rubio dropping out of the race for the Republican nomination. Last night he said he suspended his campaign. Bob Nardelli is with us this morning. And Bob, your thoughts on which candidate is the best candidate to promote economic growth and good for business? Yeah, I think if we just focus on those two points, I think I've got to go with Donald Trump. I mean, if you look at uh, his position on a lot of these things relative to trade, relative to you know growing jobs within the U.S. The general consensus in the business community right now, Maria, is the GDP is about 1.2 percent. Very slow. So it's a very low, slow. You know, Dagan, we were talking about retail, negative last month, probably down through the middle of the year. I think we got to get stimulus there. I think that Donald will support energy independence. I know Robert talked about you know Hillary going back that way, but this administration has stifled fracking and exports of oil and gas that would have kept our production up. It's going to take months to go back to that. You know, if you look at the auto industry, I think it's kind of peaking out. We talked about uh, what they've done relative to leasing up to 32 percent. We're going to have a slug of lease cars coming back. Residuals are going to be down. So I think that Donald will probably support the business community more than any of the other candidates. He wants to take corporate taxes down, but the criticism is how do you pay for it? Well, I How think, do you pay for his tax plan? Well, again, if you, if you take corporate taxes down, we would be more globally competitive. Therefore, maybe some of those jobs would stay here. Maybe we need to get repatriation back on the table so that we can reinvest in capital and R&D and, and, and increase our CapEx program because a lot of them are being depressed right now. And we're seeing major M&A activity consolidations for companies to try and get growth because they're not getting it out of a GDP. Well, if you look at this point of Reagan's administration, we had a GDP of 7.8 percent. Wow. And he did that with 7 a 7.8. He did that with a Democrat Congress, yes. right? So I yes, think Mark. this election is one first time in a generation we can get corporate tax rates down. We could possibly have a flat tax, you know, and that the growth that will come from that could be unprecedented. Yeah, I mean, trying to trying to legislate. Uh, you know, inversions as opposed to fixing the problem is what we have to do in this country. It's the fundamentals, yeah. Mark. I think that's going to be a huge boom for the stock market, don't you, if we were to get a, a, a viable tax plan? Anthony Scaramucci? Yeah, but, but I do think you're going to have to keep the House and Senate if you get a Republican presidency Absolutely. to make that happen, Maria. Absolutely. And so I think that's going to be the that's tension true. there. Well, we've got 24 seats we've got to worry about, isn't yeah. it, mm -hmm. Anthony? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Bob, turnout will help. Great yeah. to have you this morning. Thank you. By the way, big shout out to Michael Nardelli, your son, his film Circle on Netflix. Thank you very much. Congrats Thank to you. him. Look at that. Yeah. Great. Looking Good like stuff. his mom. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. He's a very <laughs> handsome guy. He's quiet. He <laughs> looks just fine. He looks oh, like yeah. Bob. Bob Nardelli's son, I Michael Nardelli. Check out this film. like that as we were breaking. <laughs> That's right. We'll be right back.